Okay, today we're doing an aesthetic crown lengthening procedure on number eight and nine, previous to the level of the bone. And um, I pretty much determined that the level of bone was about three millimeters. This is, that's three millimeters from the gingival margin. And it really needs, we're going to be removing a couple millimeters, so we really want to make sure that the bone is about five millimeters from, or at least three millimeters from the sub subsequent gingival margin. So we're going to be doing a flat procedure. What I'm doing is I'm going to make some, make my incision across the papilla here. We want to put that right back where it was. You okay? Okay, we're going to take a look at this in a couple weeks. This is a two-week healing of the surgery, um, the crown lengthening surgery on the upper an on anterior. She still has some of the vicral sutures there. We'll be removing those in just a sec. Okay, we're going to check this out in another month. This is the six-week healing of the crown lengthening on number eight and nine. Look at it a little closer. see a slight hint of the, of the original incisions, but I think we're just going to leave those because they might remodel a uh, little more. If they don't, in the, in the long run, even after the veneers, we can flatten those off. And so, um, but I'd rather see how it heals. Um, so in another six weeks, she's going to go have the veneers done, and then we'll take a look at the final um, 
restorations. Okay, this is after about seven months after the surgery that we did for the crown lengthening. And um, as you can see, she has the final restorations and um, I think it's looking really good. I gotta go home. Let me go home. It'll all be alright. I'll be home tonight. I'm coming back home.